Oh, here we go. Reaper's Rewards, week one. Psst. Hey you, over the centuries, my memory has started to grow foggy. I've heard rumblings about a special dish called ambrosia that could jeopardize my job. Complete the assistant to the Grim Reaper and a call away quest to help me understand it. Okay, we are going to do this with Carla, the Super Sim, of course. And why are we getting the same thing again? Okay. Well, it is a new thing, so of course there are bugs. Hopefully we can get through it because I'm really pissed off that I don't have my login rewards from the last time. Unfortunately, I changed computers and I looked on my old computer. It still works and I booted it up and ran The Sims and it does not have the rewards on that computer either. So even transferring the file over won't help. I checked in both places, both files that they named that supposedly had it. And it doesn't even matter because the login rewards don't show up on my old computer either. So that's just great. All right, so we will be doing this assistant to the Grim Reaper with Carla. I'm so glad that we are actually doing Super Sim Weekly now because this is going to be an ongoing event. So, for those of you who are new here, this is Charity, and welcome to the Super Sim Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we max all of the skills, get top level in every career, complete all the aspirations, and basically do everything you can do for a single Sim. Now, we're currently in university, and we have, I don't know, three or four degrees now. We're in the middle of one, and it should be finishing up in the next couple of days so we have economics mixologist certificate physics degree art degree computer science degree and biology degree and we are currently working on our fine art so yeah now we need to order a starter flower seed packet and ask three sims about ambrosia I wonder where, oh good, it's right here in the main menu. I hate it when they hide it in the pie menu because there are so many different places it can be now and Carla has almost every single interaction available possible. So yeah, Hayden, have you heard about this ambrosia that might be jeopardizing the Grim Reaper's job? Make sure you know how to fish. You'll need it if you want to make ambrosia. Well, I already know how to make ambrosia. I actually have some am ambrosia, but we're going to pretend like we don't know anything about it. And yeah, sorry for my voice this week. We've been going through a lot of colds in the family, and it's just my voice that's affected. I'm not actually sick, so I'm still trying to do my recording. I seem to recall the ambrosia is gourmet food. Um, yeah... This is actually going to be pretty boring because I already know everything about Ambrosia. All right, I need one more person to ask. And it seems like no one is around, of course. This area pretty much doesn't have a lot of walk-bys. It's because it's the Get Famous area and it's the expensive homes. So I basically have to wait for Patchy or the Ranch Hand to show up. I do have a Ranch Hand, right? I know I have a Gardener and a Maid. But it is the weekend. Expedite mail delivery? What is that? I don't remember that. Huh. I guess I'm going to uh, pay for the expedited mail delivery. Whatever that is. Oh, here. Here's a person. Try not to pause the game as much. But do you know how hard it is to click on The Sims? The delay is just annoying. Okay, forget it. And of course, we're in the middle of a bush. If you want to make ambrosia, you'll need to be willing to get your hands a bit dirty. Okay, so we order a starter flower seed packet. I guess we can do that from the phone. I know that there's a gifts option and you can get it from build buy. So I don't know which way we'll complete this. Let's try the gifts option. All right, that worked. Plant a lily, plant a snapdragon. Are we going to actually have to do this like that? Oh, I'm going to have to go. In. Oh, I got a Snapdragon and a Lily. Wow, that had to be fixed. 
it it had to be fixed. There's no way I got both of those plants on the first try. Okay, so let's just do the research ambrosia on your phone, tablet, or a computer. Oh, you actually have to go to the event UI to claim your rewards? I don't like that. Okay, so gardening volume one, water, light, and dirt. Read through the book to level up your gardening skill. Don't we already have a gardening book? Original freezer bony, a supremely skeletal freezer bony. It would be much more terrifying to stumble upon one of these if they weren't so darn cute. The gramophone, a supernatural sound system or a recolor of the high school year's prom reward. Okay. With a direct line to Grimm himself, allowing his mortal acquaintances to summon him day or night. It can also play your favorite tunes if you're into that sort of thing. Hopefully we actually get this reward. Okay. And by claiming one, it claims all of the available ones. Ambrosia is a gourmet dish that can bring a loved one back to life. It's difficult to make and requires three rare ingredients. If you want to learn more, be sure to read the Ambrosia Society newsletter. All right, and now to plant the flowers, which I'm going to plant over here under cover. Carla, are you taking care of the babies? I'm supposed to let the butler do that. And Hayden. Now, it is the baby's birthday today, I think. It's also Peter's birthday. Oh no, it's on Monday. Okay, so tomorrow is Peter and the infant's birthdays. Oh, Carla Eternal Jr. has passed away. That's so sad. Okay, research a plant. I don't think you can research them until they sprout. That's annoying. Maybe I can find one out here to research. Although it probably wants me to research one of those. Come on, speed run this. I, need, I only have a week to get it done. A week of some time, that is. I don't see any plants. I know there were plants out here. Are they just out of season? Yeah, they're out of season. Or gone. I thought those were plants, but those are dig sites. Oh, here's some. What? I can't research it because it, it's out of season. Come on, there's a whole bunch of pear trees over here. But I can't research any of them. Oh, can I research this? No. The mystical bean portal tree cannot be researched. All right, well, we might be stuck on that then, unless I can find a plant that is in season and I can research it. Oh, there was another one and I didn't get to see what it said. Okay, it said something about getting a letter. Here is the letter. You can read this. Oh, we can ask the spirits about ambrosia. Yeah, cook a recipe while level three or higher. Okay, so yeah, we can work on that one while we're waiting for the plants to grow. Okay, we got the cooking volume one. Let's cook. Oh, we can research the plant now. Well, that was quick. I was going to buy a bee box, but turns out I don't have to. Oh, and we need to buy a gramophone and summon the Grim Reaper. All right. And then we need to research a plant, which we have scheduled to do. I don't like having to switch back and forth between these two quests. And I'm not really confident about this working too well, because like I said before, the other login rewards event did not work for me. I did everything that they said to do. I logged in. I claimed all the rewards and I didn't get them. Even on the original computer where I did the original login event, it's not there. And whoever at EA thought it was a good idea to store those login reward events. And why are you going all the way back to the kitchen? Oh, that made absolutely no sense, Carla. Well, anyway, as I was saying, Whoever decided to store those login event rewards on your computer uh, doesn't know very much about software design and good design of features because that's just the most terrible thing that you can do. Um, I, I don't think 
that that was a good solution because people's computer it's going to be very easy for files on someone's computer to get corrupted because I know mine did. And then that person's lost that login reward and can never get it back with the current state of how EA has it set up. So I am not a fan of how they did that. And I am so shocked that a professional software company did something like that. Okay, Assistant to the Grim Reaper. Great, you've scratched the surface about Ambrosia, but this is just the beginning. I need more details. So keep nurturing your garden. So did we finish that one? Yeah, we did. Okay, so now we have to do the A Call Away. So we got earrings of imminent demise and create a sim. While wearing these earrings, you can always feel the cold hand of the Grim Reaper tugging at your soul. Oh, those are cool. I think Carla's going to have to wear those. And an energized potion. Ugh, cares. All right. So we need to summon the Grim Reaper, which I assume is an option on this. There it is. And ask the spirits about Ambrosia. Oh, with the median table. Or medium Meet or socialize with the Grey Reaper. Um, I think we've already met. I'm pretty sure that we're like best friends. Although, where is he? I summoned him and he's not here. Oh, good. Uh, good thing I already know him. Yeah, and he's going to talk to Carla anyway. He always comes over to me whenever he's in the area. Ever since I was a teenager. He would come and chat to me, even if he was reaping another soul in another part of the building. Hey, Grim. Hey, buddy. How you doing? All right. Now we have to ask the spirits about Ambrosia. Oh, she didn't like hugging him. Okay. I assume that you do this with a seance table. I'm going to find a place to put it first. Oh yeah, it's on the science table, and I don't even need any skill, because I know what, this is actually one of the skills I have not done yet. Okay, Carla has reached level 2 of the medium skill. Maybe I'll max it out while I'm doing this. Level 3. With that gramophone, you can summon me whenever you need. Just don't do it too often. Traveling to this realm can be exhausting. Keep working on your cooking and gardening skills. Um, they're already maxed, but okay. All right, that was just to do the quest. Ambrosia, will you share? This is sure to help you in your quest. Start growing your garden. Plant a snapdragon, apple tree, and cherry tree. I don't really need to because I already have death flowers. It says, please wait and try again as the gnomes try to fix the failure. Oh, no. Huh. Okay. I got the Scare Seeker Lot Challenge. Lots with this challenge fill Sim with eldritch excitement and attract other Sims looking for a ghoulishly good time. Happy Potion, Activities and Skills. Drink this potion to enter the happy emotion. All right, well, seemingly we've already encountered a bug. Maybe it's a bug or maybe it's just I've completed all the ones that I can complete for now. I think it's maybe because I did that out of order. I was supposed to talk to the spirits first and then summon Grim. Uh, I may have screwed that up, but still, they should not have made it impossible for me to complete that because they had both of those available and I just did it out of order. I should have had to ask the ghosts about the Ambrosia first then buy the gramophone, then summon Grim. I think that's probably what happened. All right, what if I talk to Grim again? Is there something else on him? We could ask to join the Soul Reaper Society. Supposedly that's going to be a thing eventually. At least I think it might be. Oh, she made some drinks. That was actually your aspiration, Carla. Let's talk about the Soul Reaper Society with Grim and see what he says. <laughs> Sorry, kid. No open positions right now, but I like your moxie. Okay, so 
that's a little bit of a hat tip to hopefully the Grim Reaper pack coming soon. Although that has been in the game for a really long time. All right. Well, I'm not sure if we can do anything else with this. Let me try and log out and log back in and see if maybe I've just done all of the ones I can do for now. Okay, I see the issue. So I've completed both of the quests for this week. And this timeline of quest rewards is for all six weeks. So basically what that allows you to do is to start on any week and still start at the beginning and get, and get the beginning rewards. You just won't be able to get the best rewards at the very, very end unless you've done all of the quests because you only get a certain amount of points each week. So I think that is where we are for the first week and we're done with us for now until week two. And we're just going to make a whole bunch of drinks because we're working on our mixology aspiration. Now, the easiest way to do this is to make the drinks that just require you to fill them instead of actually make them. Oh, what do you want, Cody? Oh, okay. So Kristen and I are now friends. That's great. Sometimes the neighborhood stories thing are a little bit tedious. No, don't drink it. Just make it. Okay, why is it? She's pouring it over here. Oh, Interesting. Why did she teleport over here? This is so stupid. Anyway, the teleport thing is sometimes annoying. Why are you drinking that? Don't drink that. I just want her to make the drinks and she keeps drinking them. Okay, we've made all the drinks we need to make and now we need to join the culinary career. So we will go to the next one. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll have too many drinks since we made them all because one of the milestones is to pass out from too much nectar. Hopefully this doesn't give her the celebrity quirk that, that she likes juice. I have to finish four nectars in order to pass out. Um, hopefully she doesn't have anything that prevents her from passing out. Oh, wait. She can't pass out from too much nectar. Really? It just made her pee her pants or at least uh, almost about to pee her pants. Okay, it says anything is possible for her. She should probably not have any more nectar for now, though. Do I have to have four? Because I did drink. I mean, do I have to have five? I did drink four already. She's about to pee her pants, though. That might be a problem. I don't want her to pee her pants. No, Hayden. I am trying to pass out from too much nectar. It's not happening. Okay. Well... Passing out from too much nectar is something you have to do before you get the ability to not lose any energy. It will, however, take down your bladder. So you can get the steel bladder and still pee your pants just by drinking things. However, I cannot pass out from too much nectar. I can't do that milestone. Unless I take away all of my effects that keep me from losing energy. Okay, it's never weary and then also... Now, maybe it's just never weary. I don't think any of the other ones do that. Although I can lose energy sometimes. I don't have anything that makes me be able to hold my nectar. That's an aspiration I haven't done yet. So I'm not sure why she's not passing out. Maybe because never weary Sims never need sleep, but you can still lose energy because I do when I work hard. However, I guess she cannot pass out when she has that. I'm going to have to remove it and see if she can get the passed out from too much nectar milestone. Now, I typically do not use cheats in this particular let's play. But for this situation, I kind of have to, or I have to skip getting the milestone and I'm not starting over. So if you do testing cheats enable, shift click on your SIM and then go to cheat SIM info. You can do this even without a mod. Now UI cheats and MC command center sometimes makes this a little bit easier. Actually, maybe you do have to have the mod to do it that way. 
<laughs> okay. So you cannot do it that way. You have to use cheat codes. Okay, make sure you have the right sim selected. And then it's traits dot remove underscore trait and then you need the name of the trait never weary is exactly how it is sometimes traits are not exactly the same as what they're called in the trait panel but this one happens to be never weary okay and it removed it from my list now let's see if we can pass out from too much nectar just finish it carla hurry up She's going to take a whole sim hour to finish that glass of nectar. And she's still not passing out. Why is she not passing out? I don't think she has any other trait that keeps her from losing energy because she looks like she's losing energy now. She does have seldom sleepy. All right. Well, I did cheat. So maybe I have to reload the game because it's not expecting me to lose that trait. Okay, I might have to get rid of this table. She keeps coming over here to drink it. Why don't you just drink it at the bar? Okay, there we go. We finally, uh, we got the juice enthusiast quirk. I knew that we would. Okay, well, we passed out from too much nectar. Now we can add our never weary trait back on. Oh, we can just purchase it from the reward store. Okay, now technically I have already purchased this, but I'm going to require myself to repay the points, since I have so many of them anyway, I'm going to repay those 10,000 aspiration points because I had to remove it. I figure that's a fair enough price for cheating. <laughs> okay, the next one is the grilled cheese aspiration. And I need to drink a potion of plentiful needs so that my energy is restored. Okay. Yes, we have the life enjoyed too much nectar. So you have to remove the never weary trait and you have to reset the game in order for you to get that milestone. Okay, we have the oversized crop competition. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll try to submit something that is subpar. Not sure what that could be though. Because I think I already have a first place ribbon and I need a participation ribbon and second and third place. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll not encourage growth. Okay, we need to talk to you about grilled cheese. Oh, I'm not introducing myself. All right, let's maybe talk to the butler. Okay, then we also have to eat 10 grilled cheese. That is a lot of grilled cheese. Of course, Patchy went back on his stand. All right, well, maybe I will introduce myself to the paparazzi, but I don't want her to come in. Maybe if I do a rude introduction and then just tell her to leave afterwards. Is she going to come in though? She is. I hate how when you interact with someone and just say hi on the street, that gives them permission to go inside your house. Okay, now we need to e eat 10 more sandwiches, really? That's a lot of sandwiches. And we need to cook three group servings of grilled cheese and talk to five different sims about grilled cheese. So we're going to be doing a lot of grilled cheese things. But I think the kids should be having their birthdays pretty soon. Maybe we'll do that tonight after Carla gets home from work. Okay, so we are now APM Queen, which is eSports Gamer Level 9. So we just need to increase our level a little bit. And work is 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. So hopefully we don't have any classes during that time. Oh, we do. Well, 3 p.m. to 4.25 so we should be able to go to that class and then immediately go to work. Okay, it is everyone's birthday, so we better hurry up with that. Come on, Peter. Time to blow out the candles. Happy birthday, Peter. Okay, and I guess Peter can be self-assured. Oh, no, no, wait. I know. Okay, we're going to go with the outgoing trait because it increases conflict resolution. I was going to pick a random trait, but then I remembered we have to max out all of the traits for this child or at least one of the children. And we might as well do it with the first one that we can get. 
So I think conflict resolution is the hardest to get. So I'm going to choose outgoing. You can also choose neat, self-assured, and good for one of the other ones, but this is the one I'm going to pick. And then for the aspiration, it really doesn't matter. In fact, we may not even do an aspiration. Uh, maybe we'll do the social one just because it makes manners go up when you have friendly introductions and that one seems to be the easiest one to complete. Oh, and we are going to do a makeover for you because I really don't like that hat. And we'll keep his braids. He had some kind of hat on for his regular everyday outfit and no thank you. Okay, so this is Peter's everyday wear, his formal wear, his athletic wear, sleep wear, party wear, swim wear, hot weather, and cold weather looks. So he's still got the glasses and he's still got the weird shoes every once in a while. Okay, we finished all our homework and we need a child with a character value in range to receive a trait. That's going to be difficult. I think there's some parenting things we can do to help that. Okay, let's go ahead and age up Princess. Happy birthday, Princess. Okay, we're just going to make them all independent. That's just easier. Okay, we need to help him with homework. Maybe we should do that first because it seems like it takes forever for him to get any sort of character value. We'll probably have to work on that in the background for a while. You can just cancel the interaction and then help him again. And it counts. Okay. I'm going to do that just because I don't want to remember to do that. Oh, we have to have a child max any skill. That might take a while. Just because he's actually low level. In all. Oh, no, he's got level six social. So he'll probably max that skill first if it counts. Happy birthday, Norma. Okay, and here's Princess's everyday look, formal look, sleepwear, party look, swimwear, hot weather look, and cold weather look. Okay, and these are Norma's outfits. Here is her everyday look, her formal look, her sleepwear, her party look, her swimwear, hot weather look, and cold weather look. Oh, we're losing a few of the chickens. And I forgot to clean the coop. That's my bad. Okay, we are an eSport Gamer level 10. Stuart, what are you doing here? Okay, he disappeared. Okay, I think... Yeah, the Startup Entrepreneur is the other branch of the Tech Guru career. So we will do that one next. Okay, now we need to go into full parent mode and have a child with three positive character value traits. It's only three. We don't have to get all of them. So manners, responsibility, and empathy or conflict resolution, we don't need all five. Okay, we're going to work on the computer whiz aspiration for a little while because we need to advance in the tech guru career for this. And sometimes it bugs out if you don't actually get a promotion in order to complete that step of the aspiration. So after we get this one, we'll be to one of those points in the aspiration where we need a promotion in the tech guru career. And we just have Peter trying to learn as much as possible. And Hayden, come help Peter. I know you want to help the toddlers, but right now we need to help Peter. Okay, that was easy. It actually, oh, we need to go to university class. Okay, so we actually got through the reach level three of the tech guru career without having to get a promotion, which is good. So now we just need to make a video gamer app and the next step involves reaching level five.
Okay, we have graduated with a fine arts degree with an A plus GPA. Okay, the video game is completed and the aspiration is achieved. So we will name this, hmm, maybe Carla Bash. And we don't have to do anything else for the computer whiz aspiration. All right, so in order to go into what full parental mode, we have to have level 10 parenting, which we have. And then we need to do a lot of parental actions, like helping with needs, influencing, teaching right in a row. Okay, we'll just have our toddler make a mess and that might help things. Um, of course, he has to put her down first for some reason. All right, we'll have Peter make a mess too because we can just correct it and then get him to clean it up. Strict? No, Carla is not strict. I am not going to be strict. All she did is influence him to clean up the mess. Okay, we went into full parental mode. That's good. Now, in order to have a child with three positive character value traits, they actually have to age up to an adult. So we're going to be stuck on that for a little while. Okay, then we need a child with an A in high school, which Peter is not a teenager yet, so we can't do that either. And then Peter needs to get married. Okay, well, back to the grilled cheese. Okay, next... We need to eat a grilled cheese sandwich in space, cook an excellent quality grilled cheese sandwich. Why? We've done that so many times. And talk to the Grim Reaper about Grim grilled cheese. Okay, we need to eat a grilled cheese in space. Hmm, I guess we have to have a grilled cheese in our inventory. Okay, eat a grilled cheese sandwich in space. Yeah, it just needed to be in our inventory. All right, then we need to meet the Grim, Grim Reaper again. We can plan a stay over. Or we can just make some jet jewelry. We have a jet, right? Maybe somewhere. Okay, so Peter's conflict resolution is now in range. He has three traits in range. Manners, responsibility, and conflict resolution. The only issue is that they're... The teaching moments come up and he's going to throw these out of balance. So we're going to try and hold these until he becomes a teenager. Actually, until he becomes an adult, which is even worse. Okay, we have to wait a little bit on the grilled cheese one. Expert nectar maker is next. Okay, we need a nectar barrel over here. Maybe several. Okay, I can copy paste the nectar bottles, which means I can sell them for more when I get to the, oh, the 100,000 simoleons. All right, so that'll make it super easy because that's annoying having to make 100,000 simoleons from selling nectar. With her business steadily growing, Carla finds herself thinking about the future. In particular, what would happen should an apocalypse Elliptic event befall the town, zombie outbreak, rogue meteor strike, any number of calamities potentially awaits. But there's hope. A questionably practicable but exceedingly eccentric idea comes to Carla's mind. What about purchasing her very own private island that she could escape to in the off chance that a disaster occurs? Um, Carla gains fame as she buys the island, but loses reputation. Oh. Ooh, I want to lose reputation and pay a large sum of money. I don't care. As long as I do not lose the job, I don't care. That was only 12000 Losing reputation is fun. Okay, next we're going to do the communications degree. Okay, so we have a kid with an A... In grade school, not in high school. Oh, I didn't think we'd get promoted. We got promoted to level 10 of the tech guru career for the startup entrepreneur. We were actually at school when work started. And so I called in a vacation day and I wasn't sure if we were on vacation or not, but the work day just ended and I got promoted somehow. So now we can quit that job and take on the freelance crafter job.
Okay, we need candle making gigs. We need to create cylindrical candles on the candle making station and send the finished work to the client. Well, I don't think I have to dye them if I'm going to send them to the client. Okay, we finished that job. Now, I think the only thing left for this week is the Finchwick Fair. I don't think we have enough time for another candle making job. Okay, Finchwick Fair, we have a meat pie and a small lettuce. I don't think I need... Oh, it's perfect. I was about to say, I don't think I need first place for this one. So I'm not sure how this will work. Well, let's work on our homework. Okay, we got a first place oversized crop competition with a small lettuce. And we got a participation pie competition ribbon. I'm pretty sure those are the ones we already have. I don't know how to get anything else other than first place for the oversized crops. So maybe if I just buy one from the grocery store and it's not perfect, or maybe I could have someone else grow it instead of Carla. Anyway, that one was a bust. And I don't know how to get a good score on the pie competition. Unless I didn't get a participation ribbon last time. Maybe I got third place? I don't remember. Well, anyway, this is the end of the week. And if anyone would like to start making matches for the kids or maybe friends for the kids, I'm not sure if we'll have very much time for interacting with friends. But Peter, I think, is probably going to be the one that is going to get married and carry on Carla's line. So definitely he will need a mate. And then Princess and Norma, I'm not sure if they will get married or not, but I will probably move them out of the house once they are an adult. And they will go and have their own lives and we won't keep track of them. I'm going to keep at least one Sim in the household with Carla that is one of her descendants in order to try to have a hundred generations eventually over the course of this Let's Play. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.